Hey, good morning guys. It's February 12th. What we're going to do today is start some dormant hardwood cuttings. I was able to acquire a variety uh, called Norton. Norton isn't supposed to be, be able to be propagated very well, so we're going to put it to the test. I have some pencil thickness wood here, point uh, bottom side down, top side up, but I also got some smaller diameter cutting, smaller than pencil, and we're going to determine if these will root, uh, what percentage they will root compared to these. We have about 20 cuttings here. And so what I've done to prepare already is I've taken this loamy soil, I've tilled it up, um, loosened it up to a depth of about a foot, and then this really nice composted soil, I've taken just right out of the compost, I've added this about 50% to this mixture, and so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a cutting. Now this has been soaking in the water overnight. If I was going to store these for a long period of time, um, we'd want to put these in the refrigerator, and then again we'd want to hydrate them uh, soaked in water before we actually did this. And so I'm going to take my pruners. Again, this is the bottom, so polarity is important here. I'm going to cut out these bottom buds. I don't want those to grow vegetative, so I'm going to make sure I rub those out. And that little bit of scarring, that little bit of wounding I, I do, is going to allow for a place for new roots to form. Once it's warm, callus forms, roots will come out, and hopefully that happens before the buds break out. And I have a plan for that. So I'm going to cut out a couple of these buds. I'm going to probably plant it about this deep in the soil. I'm going to use some synthetic uh, rooting hormone just to dust it on a bit. You want to shake this off, you don't want it too uh, coated. This will help speed up the process. And then what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to bury it about this deep down in the soil. This needs to be moist and damp, but I also got this black weed fabric. This black weed fabric is going to hold in the warmth on this mound where this cutting is going to be. And so with the warmth, nodes should bust out with uh, callus, and then that callus should grow in the warm temperatures. The top should remain dormant for some period of time, and we're hoping as spring comes, we'll already have root system established, and then the buds will come out naturally. All right, I'll get working on this, and I'll show you what that looks like. So again, you wanna when you're doing this, you want to make sure you tag with the variety and add the date. So I've added Norton in February 12th. And so again, what's gonna happen here is the sun is gonna warm this black area. It's gonna heat up the root zone. The cool temperatures that we're having are gonna keep the tops from uh, actively growing out vegetatively until the roots are established. And so I need to add some moisture. It's been pretty dry for the last couple weeks. So I'll give this a good deep soaking and then uh, we'll let it sit for a long period of time. This will retain the moisture. The compost that we added will also retain moisture, provide some good uh, beneficial bacteria to help uh, mycorrhizae get established and help these roots grow. As soon as these plants are rooted, we can allow them to grow for a year and then remove them as dormant bare root, or we could remove them as actively growing, actively growing plants. If we're going to take them out of this situation in the spring, we we'll want to do that soon, as soon as they're rooted, um, and then we can transplant them out into the into the vineyard. All right, thank you guys.
Okay, here we have some dormant hardwood cuttings. Uh, you can see completely dormant, taken in the winter. Now these were stored in the refrigerator for two to three months. Uh, they can be taken right away and planted in the winter. Uh, but in this case, we stored them for a while. Just wasn't ready to plant them. But you can see the buds are just starting to break a little bit. So we're gonna plant these as hardwood cuttings on their own roots. And so what I have here next to me is one that I did about uh, about a month and a half ago. Uh, what I did was I stuck about 10 hardwood cuttings all together just like that into a pot. You can see it's well rooted. You can see all these dormant hardwood cuttings. If I take one out, I can see uh, one individual stem is rooted. Uh, it's got new sprouts coming out and that's ready to be repotted. Here we have a bundle of about 10 of them. And so I need to separate these uh, pretty quick before they become a nightmare. And uh, we're gonna refill that pot with these other hardwood cuttings. Here's a follow-up on the cuttings we did. You see the cutting starting to break. Roots are coming out. This has been in for about uh, three weeks, I would say. Let's see how they're rooted. Yeah, starting to have uh, good roots there. You can see a close-up of what callus looks like. That white clumpy material that's swollen on the base, that will differentiate. Uh, those cells will then become root cells. They were stem cells. And this is a good, uh, good size cutting with uh, new foliage coming out. So this could be repotted and then uh, it will be on its own root. So you might have an issue there if this variety is susceptible to anything. But a lot of vines grow well on their own roots.